We're learning Caitlin Armstrong was leaving a doctor's appointment here at a medical office in South Austin when she took off from two Travis County Corrections officers, leading them on a chase through a residential neighborhood. We're learning that she made it uh, about a block and a half or a few blocks away before officers were able to catch up with her. So she was last seen wearing a black and white standard inmate uniform. Jesse chasing an inmate in the area. Several units are en route to assist. You're hearing radio traffic there from the chaotic few minutes. A spokesperson for the sheriff's office could not tell us what kind of restraints or specific security measures were taken prior to transporting her here to the medical office building. But that spokesperson did tell us officers are informed of an inmate's history before any type of transport like this. And that's important. As you'll remember last summer, Armstrong was on the run for over a month before authorities were able to apprehend her at a hotel in Costa Rica, taking her into custody and bringing her back to the U.S. in June of 2022 to face now a federal charge of misusing a passport. And on top of that, of course, the murder charge in the death of well-known cyclist Mo Wilson. Wilson was found dead in an East Austin home last year. The Travis County Sheriff's Office says they'll be reviewing this chase, though, this situation and attempted escape from today to try to determine what could be done to prevent something similar from happening in the future. So we have to modify our security protocols and the things that we use to restrain people in our custody based on the medical issue they're dealing with. And so it varies from person to person. They did say every situation was different, so we'll definitely be following up there to hear what they learn from their review from their review. But we do know that Armstrong is back in custody. We know that she is still set to appear potentially in court for the trial that's set to begin on October 30th. So we'll be working to get more details about how the situation occurred and how it affects the trial moving forward. But for now in South Austin, Avery Travis KXAN News. Avery, great reporting tonight. Thank you so much. And we